What up, guys? Sunday morning. It's like 9 o'clock or something. Just got to the shop. Um, just figured I'd show you. Last night before I left, I just real quick made these tabs and just tacked them to the floor for a uh, carrier bearing mount. Obviously, I'm going to box them in, gusset them, make it nice and strong. Um, that's just temporary to hold it there, but I think I got it set up pretty good here. So next, I have to mount this rear diff. Um, I don't have, well, I have them, but I don't know where these bolts are, these long ones that come through here. I do have the box that goes around it, and then I have those bars I showed you in the other video. Um, but there's also a, a washer that goes up here above the bushing that I don't have. But I do have a um, another Subaru parts car at my buddy's farm, and I'm 95% sure that these uh, the rear diff is all in there still. So I think I'm going to head over there try to rob it of some bolts and some hardware and then probably come back and fab up this rear mount. Um, my buddy is supposed to come by this afternoon. The metal shop's closed, but whatever. Uh, I just want him to check out the drawing and look underneath of here. Tell me if he sees anything that's going to be an issue. And then um, I guess next weekend, Saturday, probably first thing Saturday, I'll go there and get the aluminum and then get uh drop it off with him and let him start getting it going and if anybody's curious how like how to make those tabs it's real simple you just for these these are 14 millimeter uh nuts well the thread is m10 by 1.25 but the head itself is uh 14 mil you just dr i drilled a half inch hole and then sat the uh <laughs> sat the nut on there took a bolt threaded it all the way tight so it was you know flat against the uh the plate there and then you just tack it in place um you don't really have to use the bolt but the thing is if you tack it without the bolt holding it down or a vice grip or something it's gonna uh whatever side you tack it on it's gonna lift the other side so then your bolt's not gonna be perfectly flat against that plate or your nut so it's not a huge deal but you know if you if you want your bolts to look like they're going in straight then you're gonna want to do that Oh, and I got the 20 AN hose in the mail last night, so I forgot I have to order the push-on fitting, or the twist-on fitting, but I'll order that up, and then basically our filler neck will be basically complete. Um, have to cut that stock one. Like I said, get another pipe that this will fit over, but uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet, I think. All right, guys, here we are. I swear Subaru's come to die. Um, yeah, by the way, I got this thing. I got a ton of interior parts, a ton of other parts uh, for sale off of it. And uh, I also have a ton of interior parts left off the WRX donor car I've got for the swap. So, um, I mean, if you guys need anything, just hit me up. I got a whole bunch of stuff, so just let me know what you need. All right, I'm going to try and get... Uh, get these bolts out of here and those washers that I need see if I can set you guys up and watch me suffer out here in the cold What up guys, uh, my phone died earlier, I was getting those parts out of that other car. I didn't want to wait for it to charge or anything, I just kept moving along. Got these carboy bushings in, I showed you. Um, 
I'm going to tack this together in the center here. And then I got these pipes cut to uh, link this all together. I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, my buddy just came here. He looked at the design for the fuel tank, all that. He's going to hit up his, his uh, place he used to work for and see if they can uh, bend and break all the pieces. And uh, I'll get it all welded up for me. He's going to get back to me on that. So maybe we'll have a fuel tank by, I don't know, a week or two from now, hopefully. Um, all right, right now I'm just going to sand up these pipes. I already cleaned up here good enough to tack it. I'm going to sand up these pipes, maybe sand up up there, tack it all together, and I might just call it a day. I'm pretty hungry. And, uh, yeah. We're moving along, boys. Moving along. guys show you uh what we got going on here so there's that they look pretty symmetrical i guess the one this one's a little farther out than the other one but whatever just uh just gotta hold it right So yeah, eventually I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna put another piece of pipe, like going kind of like this back in there just to get it all cross braced real good. And then we're gonna weld that gap all the way in. We'll probably have to put a piece of metal in between, but we'll weld that all in. So that's gonna be the rear diff. Uh, I'm just gonna put some more tacks on it, some nice fat ones, and uh, probably let this jack stand down and make sure everything stays pretty good and I think that's going to be our rear diff mount for now at least might make another one in the future but I think this is going to do good enough alright guys let me get back to welding here alright guys that should be good enough let the weight down, see what happens here. I'm gonna grab the light so you guys can actually see. Uh, all right. Oh, she held. I didn't even hear no creaking. Um, should actually, before I do that, I'm actually gonna put some better tacks up there because I just got some real crappy ones on right now. Just. We support this. All right, one second.
Alright, got a couple good ones on there. Alright, so yeah, we'll drop her down. Oh, not raise it up. Drop it down. So, she's holding. Give you guys a little, little angle here. And then, like I said, we're going to have two more, uh, two more pipes going in. Like this. Going this way. To just, you know, cross triangulate all that good stuff. Make it look good. It, I think it looks pretty good how it is. But I think it'll look a little cooler with just the extra pipe going in there. Um, yep. So, tack her in. I don't, I don't think I have enough pipe to make these other ones. So, I'm going to have to wait till I go to the metal shop and get some more pipe and then um we'll tack it all in probably pull this diff out and weld it fully and then uh you know get it painted and all that honestly for now i'll probably do a couple more fat welds on these pipes on these pipes from here to there and to the bars up there and i'll probably run it like that <clears throat> excuse me at least for the initial test drive because I don't really feel like pulling this diff back out and all that right now. I just, I really just want to make this thing run and uh, just drive around, make sure I can shift it through the gears, make sure there's no weird issues because of things being modified and go from there, then tear it apart and make it all look good and pretty. Um, I'm not going to launch the thing. I'm not going to bang gear. So as long as this diff doesn't move and none of these welds break, I don't, I don't have to, there's no need to take it apart and fully weld it right now, in my opinion. I'll see what my buddy thinks, but I don't think I'm gonna twist anything if I get some more nice fat, fat tacks on there. And another thing I got today um, from the part, from that other car at the farm is this piece here. This is where um, your main, uh, your main harness comes through your your uh, wheel well area and since I'm using the WX harness and I want to use the grommets and everything I mean I could have just made this hole myself but I figured I'll just chop it out and I'm going to trim it up on the sides here and I'm just going to weld this piece into the brat here and uh, the grommet's going to go right through there sorry for the lighting but yeah the grommet's going to go right through there and then I also got this corner piece off of that car I cut out so I, I don't have to worry about reshaping this and everything. I'm just gonna pop this in there. Uh, gotta figure out how it goes first. Like this. No, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing, but it goes in there somehow. It goes in there like that. Oh. I don't know. Welder's in the way. I can't really show you guys. <laughs> but yeah. Got some more stuff I got. So we'll probably be messing with that, I guess, next weekend. Because this fuel tank ain't going to be here in time. Or the this fuel cell won't be built in time is what I meant to say. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll finish up this rear diff mount. Finish up these carrier bearing mounts. And uh, probably start boxing in this these rear portions where the trailing arms go and box in the frame rails and all that good stuff so i gotta remember to buy some template paper some uh, construction paper from walmart or something or arts and crafts store <clears throat> all right guys that's probably all i got for you today um not no major progress but we got some shit done so that's cool all right stay tuned for more probably won't have more content on this till next weekend most likely but uh i'll try to post some videos during the week if anything cool happens at work or i see something funny or cool all right guys thanks for watching uh i'll be seeing you in the next one